That's so that's so pretty. I love guitar rig, man. It's just amazing. <laughs>
you can see, if you have some decent octave pedals, or even if you don't, you know, guitar rig by itself can definitely step up your ambient pad game. You know, it's going to give you a ton of new um, delay and reverb and modulations and um, pitch effects and everything else that will enhance your rig, especially recording if you're doing solo bass work and all that stuff or you want to get into that. Um, you want to enhance your loops or anything like that. This is guitar rig. Could definitely do that. You know, especially if you have like um, a key nine, a male nine, um, a pog, a, a boss OC five, um, a, a MXR poly blue. You know, hog two, pog two, um, pitchfork. You know, it's it's a ton of different octavers, polyphonic octavers that allow you to play. Um, you know, chords and different things, and a volume pedal, it definitely helps volume pedal. Um, yeah, from the from the pedal board, that's pretty much most of what I've used. Oh, I use the Ravis Sitar as well, um, Electro Harmonics Ravis Sitar. Um, and then from there, I was running the Aguilar AG preamp and the TC Electronic Spectra Comp into guitar rig you know but yeah guitar rig definitely can be its own standalone um thing i can't wait till they will bring it to something like an ipad that would be amazing if you could have guitar rig on the ipad and run like my zoom b6 and my ipad oh that with guitar rig on it that'd be crazy um if they could do logic they can do guitar rig so um yeah that's um we're gonna put a pin in it right here. I guess this is gonna be it's gonna be a, a whole um, you know, series of these type of things getting, you know, we still trying to get through the presets. We ain't even get through half of the joints. Yeah. Yeah, it's that many of them. Yeah. Yeah, all those. All them. So <clears throat> And that, that's just the ambient stuff. And, of course, you could just make your own custom stuff and just have it ready to go. You can also buy a physical um, MIDI controller and assign it to different things on here um, for your live setup if you wanted to. You know, so it's a very useful tool. Um, I'm thinking about just taking a Zoom B6 and maybe like an OC5, um, something like that. And just making a small pedal board out of that. And, you know, probably a, a TC Electronic Spectra Comp as well. I like that compressor a lot. Bit multiband compressor. Taking that stuff. Making a small rig for when I need to travel out the country. Um, I can take my bass. That small rig. My laptop. And then probably that um, double four. Um, that um, Phil Jones bass double four. Small little 80 amp watt. Um, 80, 80 watt amp, you know, that I, I particularly love it, um, the sound of it. But, you know, when you're traveling, you got to take into account weight. But I do like to have something physical to practice. And if I can't take that in ears, it do me fine, you know, running, you know. But I prefer to have some sort of little bass amp for practicing when I don't want to wear my headphones. So, but when you got stuff like guitar rig and amp amplitude, it make you kind of want to just use the in ears because the amps just sound so amazing, and and really close. You know, I like amplitudes amps bass amps better than guitar rigs, but guitar rigs guitar amps are crazy too. So, you know, <clears throat> it's a toss up there with the guitar rig the guitar amps. But with the bass amps, Amplitude is king right now for me. Um, so, but for these pads, Guitar Rig is king. Guitar Rig is, is slaying cats. Like, is the amount of pad effects you can... And you can take all this stuff and you can add it to keys. You can add it to guitar, saxophone, trumpet, any instrument. Guitar Rig will sound amazing on. So, you know, these ambient pad settings definitely are worth checking out. Um, no matter what instrument you play, you just need to set up your mic properly with a noise gate, things like that. Probably a no, um, a high pass filter. 
you know, something like that. You know, high pass filter, low pass filter, and just narrowing where you want to be in, in the spectrum. But that's how you pretty much would do it, you know. But yeah, I definitely appreciate y'all hanging out with me um, for another episode of All Base Creations, Effects Tutorials, Demos, and Review. Please like and share as much as possible. We in there now, so um, we about to be on YouTube all the time, fellas and ladies. Um, you know, hopefully we're going to get some more lady um, bass players in here too, guys. If you know any female bass players, share it with them. You know, they can use the information too. We all in there together. So um, I want y'all to have a good one, and I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. I am the Bass Sneakers. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share, and follow me on all social media platforms, as well as hit that um, super chat and or super thanks. Um, you know, you can tip on there or cash out. Um, um, cash sign Reggie Payne Bass, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.